This is question 15 from a series of videos taking a look at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're told that n is an integer greater than 1, and we're asked to use algebra to show that n squared minus 1 plus n minus 1 all squared is always equal to an even number. So the first thing that we're going to do here is we're just going to expand that n minus 1 all squared. And what we can write n minus 1 all squared as is we can just write this using double brackets. So this is the same as n minus 1 times n minus 1. So we're going to expand that. So expanding that, and I'm just using a grid method to do this, n minus 1 multiplied by n minus 1 is going to give us n squared minus n minus n, then negative 1 times negative 1 for positive, for positive 1. So simplifying this is going to be n squared minus 2n plus 1. And so the expression, the expression in total here is going to be n squared, so this part here, n squared minus 1 plus n minus 1 all squared. So just simplifying that again, I've got n squared and another n squared, so that's going to give me 2n squared. Then I've got this minus 2n, no other n's to collect that with, so that'll stay as it is. Then I've got negative 1 plus 1, so they cancel out. So use algebra to show that this is always equal to an even number. Well, what I can say here is that if I'm multiplying any numbers by 2, okay, then that is going to give me an even number. If my um, if my value is an integer, which I'm told at the top, I'm told that here. So any whole numbers multiplied by 2 is going to give me an even number. So just to show that algebraically, what I can do is I can say that this is 2 multiplied by n squared minus n. And then what I can then say is that therefore um, n um, what I can then say, sorry, is that therefore uh, the expression will always be an even number. So the expression will always be even.